All right, and welcome back, Jackson Jills. Whoops. Didn't mean to send that without the message, but there we go. Uh, we are back. If uh, actually didn't verify teams are on the correct sides here, so let me do that right quick. I see. Whoop. Yeah, machines are on the right in blue. Odyssey on the left in orange. I am Matsya Demui here to bring you one more, uh, one more match in uh, Europe between Odyssey and Machines. Just machines, yeah, machines. Not the machines, just machines. So yeah, I have ping teams uh, that they can uh, start when they are ready. So we get, should get started here any moment. What's up, Mighty Quinn? And uh, as I said, Odyssey on the left uh, in orange there, Admin Oddman. With uh, Mafloppy, Ground Dog, and uh, B Blank P on VIP. And there on the right in blue, Machines, Melon Amy, IC98, Derb Ryler, and X Gaming. And I see Archie in the chat. Shout out to Archie. Uh, he was hitting me with invites to get me into this game and. Uh, Unfortunately, I, I was not aware why Archie was spamming with with invites, uh, so I was ignoring him. Uh, and it turned out he was trying to get me into this game. So, uh, sorry about that, Archie. And I just said in the future, just let me know. That's, that, you know, ping me in the Discord. Let me know. That's what the uh, purpose of the invites for. Uh, I will be more likely to respond as I am late on getting that animation out. Oh, and I don't have my... Ooh. And I don't have the... the so we're not gonna have speedometer there either. Man, I I was not prepared. It's easy, not icy for icy. What? Easy? Oh, easy. Easy. I got you. Easy. Okay. Sorry. Now I understand. No, easy. Actually, I like that name a lot more now. Easy sending that one in to Debryler. And he's going to pop that one in for the two. And so it's going to be Odyssey here with the Joust Advantage. And uh oh. And yeah, no, uh, Archie, it's, uh, pinging is actually, as long as there's a purpose to it, a good purpose, you know, as long as you're not, you know, uh, begging to be casted or, or begging to, uh, start a team or anything like that. As long as, you know, there's a good purpose for it, no problem at all. No issue whatsoever. Well, Derb Ryler moving in to the bubble here, passing across X Gaming, taking a long shot, and he hits it, and, uh... The floppy looking a little astounded that that went in. And uh, the floppy clearly naming himself after the floppy disk of the 90s. What is uh, now the save icon? This one's going to bounce all the way into the machine zone. Ground dog trying to get there, but the machine stacks is too fast. Sorry, machine stack too fast. And X Gaming with it, gonna clear this one out into the Odyssey zone. Gonna take a few bounces there. Bouncing around back out of the bubble. And DeBrowler picking it up. DeBrowler sending that one across. Look for X Gaming. X Gaming picking it up. Going down to the floor there to Easy. And I picked up by Mel and Amy. He's gonna send that one back in. Up there to DeBrowler. Take the shot. Then X Gaming taking out the trash. Gonna ring that one in for the two, and that's gonna be a seven point lead. Two machines. Seven minutes to go here. Seven O oh, two machines. Gonna be grabbed there by VP. VP sending that one, that one through. And immediately, uh, Derb Ryler picking it up and loses it. Odd, admin, ad, uh, admin, Oddman. 
Had it for a moment. This one back in. Mafloppy picking it up. Mafloppy sending that one through. Ground dog. Trying to get there, but DeBrowley is going to pick it up. Uh, hello, Mr. Flamingo. I see. Excuse me. Easy. Now moving through. Floppy going to pressure over to X Gaming. X Gaming. Look at an empty net, but that one's going to go low. Admin Ottoman trying to track it down. Does. Going to get this cleared out. Taking a bounce there, and Der Breiler is going to get stunned. Now Ground Dog picking it up. Oh, BP. Accidentally headbutting it, but my floppy there to recover. Send that one away. We're going to be picked up there by Admin Ottoman, who's under assault. Gets that one loose. That goes wide of the goal, and now picked up by X Gaming. So Machine's back in possession here. Six minutes to go in round one. And that clear in the hands of a floppy. Good read. Passing that one up there to you, Ground Dog. Ground Dog. Ooh, stole it. Did not see DeBryler coming. And DeBryler, clean, clear through the tube. Is going to get there to recover. Look at it. The empty net takes a shot. He's going to hit it for the three. And that is now a 10 point lead to Machines. And I'm out of coffee. But I saw this bottle of water here. So that's going to be VS sending, uh, excuse me, VP. Where did I get that VS? VP sending it to that tube there. Both teams trying to track it down now. Good stun. DeBrowler with it, but a double stun there at X Gaming. Touches it, loses it, tracks it down. Looking to send it through, but he's going to get stunned there in that tube. And then Admin, Oddman going to get this one cleared back into the machine zone. Ground Dog with it, sent it towards a goal, was on its way in, but Mel and Amy covers, gets it sent back out. Then cleared it back in, Ground Dog trying to track it down, under pressure there by DeBryler, gets it, and that was one of those, you you had to just fling it. There was no other chance there, that, that the defender was too close to him, the goalie was already getting to the goal, you just gotta fling that one. Can't waste no time. Now I'm a floppy with it on the back line, four and a half minutes to go here in round one. The floppy sending that one across. VP trying to get there, but the leash by easy up. Somehow VP coming away, coming away with it though. Interesting activity. It's my floppy trying to check this one down at mid. Can't quite get there. Does ultimately. This one cleared. Admin Oddman has it here. Gonna go for that back pass for that chain. Picking it right up. DeBrowler there with it. DeBrowler's going to send that one through that far side tube. This is going to get through. It's going to be a chase. X Gaming getting there. X Gaming taking the shot. And X Gaming going to make it. And how do we choose what matches to cast? Uh, there are a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of, a lot of factors that go into choosing which matches. Today, uh, I, I was looking for... Uh, because I wasn't really familiar with the uh, the European teams that were playing uh, on this day in particular. So I was looking for teams that hadn't been casted or hadn't been casted in a while. Basically. Like uh, Blaze, an hour ago, that was their first, uh, their first cast. And so just part of that promise to get, uh, to get everyone covered, as much as is reasonable, When's the next Master Tier matchup? Uh, I don't know, to be honest. Tomorrow, maybe? There might be, uh, I don't think there's any tonight. Uh, casted. Well, that's the thing. Master Tier matchups tend, are going to you know tend to get that because those are the those top tier games. You want to make sure you know people have the opportunity to get eyes on them because there's, there's a lot to learn. They're exciting. High pace. You know, best in the world. So they do generally take a sort of priority, but not not so much. Like, especially if there's two casters, then it, it's only a priority, you know, in the one sense. And uh, Archie, yeah, I can appreciate that. Uh, my first cast was in ESL Season 2. It was my first game in ESL. And it was against Eclipse, uh, Paladors team. The, the, uh, the world champions, Eclipse. And Durb Riley with the granny shot and send that one in for the three. 
Now it's a 16 point lead here, two machines. I don't know if a VOD of that game uh, still exists, but it was definitely cast. Well, and, and uh, uh, ooh, 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 almost there it is. Oh, easy, popping it in. And I'd respond to Mr. Flamingo. I mean, that's it, it also depends on who's available when. You know, uh, I happen to be available during the day today. Really, I, really, I'm, I'm, I'm putting off some things I should be doing. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, I just happen to be available, so because I happen to be available, I'm going to look over those teams that are in that slot that I happen to be available in, whether or not they've been casted. Uh, Admin Odman, though, here with it. And he takes a shot, but easy, going to get the easy grab on that one and turn it around here for machines less than a minute to go. So, yeah, there, there's also the caster availability thing because, you know, none of us are, uh, it's, it's not a job, it's a volunteer thing. Um, maybe someday it'll be a job. Easy, gonna send that one in for the three. That's gonna be the mercy here in round one. Um, I mean, th that's the dream is for it to be a job, but for now, it's just a volunteer thing. And so everyone has to work around their personal schedules and personal preferences. And, you know, because there's, because it's volunteer, there's a lot of leeway. You know, no one's, uh, I mean, there's some, you know, delegation and some minor dictating, but it's very, it's very limited. You know, so everyone kind of has their say in what they're going to cast and when and with who, when they're available. You know, if you just don't feel like casting one day, there's literally no one that can tell you to, to go cast, you know, like, you, it's not, it's not just you're allowed to do that. I mean, it's a volunteer thing. So if you just don't feel like it, eh, whatever. You know, it's just that, you know, like uh, me, Powell, or Swift, for, or at least for a while there, uh, Sputnik, you know, a lot of us will put in just a ton of hours doing it, because we just love doing it. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, all the, that's like the first thing you gotta get by, though, is uh, caster availability. And then if someone's available, it's kind of up to them which games they're gonna cast, like, I could have just as e easily been like, oh, I'll go off a hype vote. Well, I actually was looking at the hype votes to inform me as to what people wanted to watch, but there was, I don't think any of these games had more than five, um, which isn't very informative. You know, once you hit 10, 10 hype votes, then that's a little bit more informative. That at least lets you know both teams probably really want to be casted. And uh, apparently in a timeout situation, looks like uh, Odyssey uh, lost the player. But yeah, once you get like 10, uh, 10 up votes, uh, 10 hype votes generally means probably both teams are really hyped to get casted. They really want to get casted. You know, so it's it's at that point, it's kind of an opt. I wouldn't say an opt in per se, but kind of lets you know that teams really want to be cast. Once you get 20 up votes, lets you know there's a lot of people that want to watch that game. And once you're over 20 up votes, that, that's like, you know, we, 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 sh we, ha we should be listening. Thank you, Matty Quinn. Yeah, we do. Uh, a lot of time. Palador puts in a, uh, probably the most out of anybody, and it's it's absurd the amount of uh, work he puts into this. Like literally, it's 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 the hours he's put in is more than a full time job. That's the thing, Archie, man. You cannot put into words the experience of playing the game. You can't. It's really anything in VR. Until you put the headset on, you don't know. You know, it's like, it's 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 that old saying, you know, it's like explaining uh, to somebody who's never tasted chocolate how chocolate tastes. You can't explain it. You can try. You can, you can give estimations, you know, but they're never going to understand it until they taste chocolate until they have that first bite. I mean, I still, re I still remember my first day. This is how I like to describe it, man. I still remember my first day in the lobby. 
and uh, it's it's like making a discovery. You pop in, and it's like, is this real? That was the old lobby. But you pop in, you're like, is this is this real? Like this feels so real. It's it's on another level that you cannot understand until you pop in. You just can't. You just don't get it. You know, you just don't. You just don't get it. You know, yeah, it's cool. You know, you can acknowledge that it's cool, that it looks like it might be fun in theory. But until you're in it, man, you don't get it. You're not gonna get it. That's okay. That's why we gotta get everybody in it. But we're getting more people every day. Let's see how many teams we're we waiting on. Let's see how many uh. How many active teams worldwide? Let me, let me do a, a quick count here. That looks like we're readying up, so we might get started here. Except for round one. One. Well, you know, I'm gonna count inactive teams too, particularly if they're really high up, because they're probably just taking a week off. Just gonna scroll. Teams are readied up here, so I'll get us. Whoop, this is not round one. I definitely hit the wrong button there. It's round two. Well, I almost have this count here. 180 teams have played at least one game in the RMO. If not more than that. Actually, it's more than that. Um, At least 180 teams have played at least one game in the RMO. And a shot there to start that one. That one's going to go wide. Ooh. And Derb Ryler bring that one in for the two. That's going to be our first goal of round two. 15 seconds in. Oop, and I might I might have lost uh, I might have missed a replay on that. Gotta find my mouse now too. Crap. There we go. Yeah, missed that one. My my mistake. A ground dog. Ooh, stuff there by that chain. X gaming trying to pick this one up. Around. I'm gonna juke a little bit. Does get the jukes. Ooh. Oddman admin or admin oddman, excuse me. Had the grab, but immediately turned over. Now this one inadvertently cleared in where McFloppy will pick it up. Although X Gaming's gonna steal right back. Take that shot a little low off the ding ring. I'm gonna bounce off the far side of the wall. Easy picking it up. Easy sending it in. And X Gaming though is intended target. Stunned out, so he's gonna try to track this one down. Now on the wedge. Ooh, and there it is. Easy sending that one in to Der Bryler. He's going to pop that one in on the redirect. Good for the two. And that's a four-point lead there, two machines. Oh, did we get another drop? No. Okay. So Odyssey here, but floppy with the disc. Ooh, assaulted quickly. I don't know. And then Admin, Odman showing a little uh, lag activity there. VP trying to get their ground dog does, but X Gaming with the steel gonna send it right back out. There in the hands of Mafloppy. Floppy up to Groundhog. Excuse me. Ground dog. Can't believe I did that. Ah, sorry, RG. You miss yeah, we, we just sometimes you miss them. Sometimes it, it just it, it just messes up and misses it. Like I had, I had that problem for like a week there where I hit the uh, record button and it would just randomly pick a spot to rec start recording it from. Sometimes it would just miss. It's very very annoying. Orange team takes possession. But now it's that's gonna be Derb Riley there with it. Sending that one across there to easy, easy. Moving in, going back to their Bryler. Good cross pass, good shot. That's good for the two. Machines are back up by three. This chair hurts my tailbone. 
Leave it on a pillow. There's something about this chair, man. So I'm a floppy with it. Sending that one across. Look for that left tube. Groundhog picking it up, but under pressure. Sending it in. Mel and Amy now with it. Melon sending it through. Easy picking it up. Easy taking the shot, but floppy with an easy save. With the clear right in the hands of X Gaming taking the shot. That one's going to go wide, but in the hands of Der Bryler, he's going to pop that one in for the two. What is Spider Golf? I don't know what that is. Floppy, trying to send that one through mid. The next gaming is there to pick it up. Next gaming, sending that one through. The Browler isn't able to get there. Easy will, though. Not easy walking in on the bubble. Gonna send that one across. Look for X Gaming. A little bit, a little bit low. Shot there from X Gaming. That one's gonna ding off the ding ring, and I'll send out of the bubble into the trap. Picked up by X Gaming. X sending it up, but in the hands of Ground Dog, and Ground Dog's trying to send it back out. Not out. The Brawler's trying to get there, does. This one cleared back in the, into Machine Zone. The Brawler's gonna pick that one up. Brawler up to X Gaming. He's going to get sent out. DeBrowler getting it back. DeBrowler sending it up. Hitting, looking for easy. Easy not able to handle it and still out of reach. Does ultimately get there, but a boost behind. Ooh. Interesting. And DeBrowler sending that one across. It's X Gaming. X Gaming going to plant that one for the two. Excuse my stretching. Ooh. Whoops. There you go. A floppy with it, and a floppy sending that one through. Into the bubble, where X Gaming will pick it up. 3.40 on the clock. Currently a seven point game. Excuse me. Now, uh, back and forth, Ground Dog, though, coming away with it. Ground Dog going to slam it off the ground. But Mel and Amy on the back line going to pick that one up. Amy, Melon, going to send that one forward. Ground Dog getting it back. Ground Dog twirling. Ground Dog stunned. And Admin Oddman picking that one up, sending it in. But Melon on the back line there going to pick it up. Melon and Amy now going to cross that one over to X Gaming. Uh, easy forwarding that one through. And, ooh, they send back to mid. And the girls, is there more than one here? I assumed Mel and Amy was a she. Is there another she that I've been referring to as a he? Do I need to feel bad right now? And now X Gaming picking that one up. X Gaming. Stunned out. And Ground Dog picking it up. So Ground Dog with it on the far side, sending it back. Good reset there to VP. Oh, really? I did not know that. Interesting. Uh oh. Ooh, that one close. So easy apologies. I'm pretty sure I called you a he several times in this game. Badman Oddman is going to get stunned out. Mel and Amy going to send that one across there. Ground Dog not able to get there. Easy going to pick this one up. Good stun. Picking it up. Looking at the empty goal. Going to take the shot. And hits it. 27 meters out. Easy is going to hit that one for the three. And that's now a 10 point lead. Two machines.
Are they German? I thought I heard French at the start. Floppy sending that one in. Ground dog taking it up. Ground dog empty net taking a shot. That one's gonna hit the barrier. So VP moving up. VP under pressure ultimately gets it stolen there by X Gaming. Less than a minute to go here. Bryler walking up, looking at an empty net. Goalie's heading back to goal. Going to take a shot. And the save there by Mafloppy. The now oh, picked up by Der Bryler. Mighty Quinn, I very much agree. As a reminder, Synapse beat Kang last night. And the shot from Easy gonna hit it. 11 meters out, 11 meters a second. That's a one second goal there. That's a 13 point lead. Oh, and that's the end of the round. Wow, I was not looking at the clock. Cool, all right. So it's gonna be 16 to three a victory here. Two machines in round two. They will take the series into. They're very much unlike that first round uh, was a mercy win to Machines, round two, uh, only a 13-point victory. With uh, with Odyssey getting that three in there. Uh, Quack, no, this is not a venues. Venues, uh, we only do on Sundays. Sundays from three, well, Sundays starting at 3 p.m. Eastern, which is noon west, uh, 8 p.m. London, and uh, what is that in Aussie time? Uh, 3, 14... 12 to 5 a.m. Sunday. Uh, so venues is 5 a.m. on Monday morning for uh, OCE. <laughs> That's wild. But yeah, you got game high points there too. Der Bryler with 16. Easy pulling up 11. X Gaming with 10. Mel and Amy picking up two saves, although I feel like it was a few more than that. Yeah, Ground Dog with that, that, that big three there on the board. And three saves there to Mafloppy. But yeah, that'll do it for me on this uh, European block. I'll be back to do uh, two more tonight in North America. Uh, I believe those are going to be at uh, 7.30 and 8.30. Eastern. Eastern time. Uh, I'll actually pull that up. Uh, off the top of my head, I can't remember what, uh, what came from there. Uh, it's through Barrage versus High Voltage. That's right. I'm going to be following High, high Voltage tonight. So at 7.30 East, it'll be Barrage versus High Voltage. And at 8.30 East, it'll be High Voltage versus Gold Diggers. So definitely come back, check those out. Gonna be good games. But until then, you just watched Odyssey versus Machines. I have been Monsieur de Mouy. This has been VRML. Thank you very much for watching. You have a wonderful evening.